I had somebody on the Facebook forum ask how do you copy an effect, uh, whether it's an effect or a style like a gradient uh, from one object to the other. So if I, for example, do a circle like this, which has got a gradient, okay, I'm going to first just remove this, uh, uh, let me choose a more obvious color. So I'm going to just put in a plain color. Um, if I wanted to drop in a gradient on this here, I would go to the gradient tool and drag a gradient. Okay, by default it chooses whatever color you're using from a lighter to a darker. But I'm going to put some kind of different nodes in here to make things look a bit more interesting. So I'd come here and say I'm going to click on a few places here. Just pop in a few. Okay, now I'm going to select this one here or maybe the one in between and just drop in a different color uh, select this one maybe that color this one down here maybe go for a bit of a dark color and down here even do another click and maybe a yellow color okay so say this was let oh, me start off there making that maybe say this was the the colors that we chose um, if i spend a lot of time getting to to this object let me go back there for example I I created a, a nice little structure like this and now I wanted to do a square it would maintain the same gradients across that area in whichever thing that I started building up okay so whatever I create there it would still maintain it however if I go and I go and uh, change the gradient that I've created here where I change it here um, by the wheel or on this side if I go in here and I change it say to a dark purple and now I draw an object that gradient would be gone so how do I get that gradient to populate over here you'd go select the object and you can just go control C as for copy or well, let's go up here we say copy we go to the new object and under edit there's different paste methods here there's paste, paste without format paste inside paste fx the ones we're going to be looking at is paste the style and paste fx now pasting the style means it's going to take whatever the style of the edit is here and transfer it across here now if i want to use the style in future i can select this object uh, go to the palette open up styles and I can just go to the little button and say add the style. If you don't see styles here, go to your view under studio and you'll look down, you'll see, make sure that styles is checked so that you'll be able to see this uh, styles dialog box. So say I want to create a style out of this um, and I want to save it as a permanent style to reference in future, I would come to this little drop down and I'll say add styles from selection here. Yeah. This is the one, so I'll go add style and if I scroll down, you'll see this, the style has been added. Now, if I want to add that style over here, I can just take that and drag it on here, and that style will go with it. Okay, so this is how you create styles that you can reuse. Uh, but what the person was also asking is, if I'm just doing an object like this, and I want to carry the style across here, um, I, don't, I don't want to necessarily create a permanent thing. Can I just copy and paste it over here? And the answer is yes, you go control C, you go here and then you can go to edit and say paste the style which is control shift V. Okay, so if I come here I'm going to press control shift and V and there we have the style pasted in there. Okay, so you can paste the style across. In addition to pasting the style, if you add any effect on here, um, let me just go in, I'm on this layer, I'm going to go down to the effects. So any of these effects, let me choose Gaussian Blur. Add a bit of Gaussian blur, maybe go 3D. Um, I just want to over accentuate this stuff here. So, so maybe we've got a 3D button there. Well, let's leave it like that. So if I want that effect, now I'm going to go back here and just change it back to say black. So if I want that effect to be copied across, not the style, I can do that independently also. The same thing would be Control C and we select the target object 
Now, under the menu here, you'll see if you want to paste the effect only, it's Alt Shift V. To paste the style is Control Shift V. Okay, so if I go Alt Shift and V, you'll see it will paste that 3D effect on here. If I want to paste the style across, I'll go Control C, select here, we'll go Shift, Control, and V. And there we paste. So there we have the style pasted and the um, effect pasted. Okay, have a fantastic day and God bless.